And one other note, really start thinking about who it is you're putting in office. Like, stop putting these people who are from privilege, who've never actually had to deal with an actual problem. Start putting them in office and asking, asking them to solve your city, your state, and your country's problems. They, they're not problem solvers. They've never had to solve problems. These entrepreneurs, and they say, oh, he's a wealthy businessman. Okay. If he's never really had to solve a problem, or his problem is firing people and intimidating people, that's not a good person to run a country or a city or a state. Try a single mom who knows how to multitask. Try, you know, a person who, who's been through some struggles. They can sit and talk to you about how they can, how they can problem solve. 99% of your existing politicians do not know how to solve problems. They just know how to talk. And 99% of them come from a place of privilege. Nah, that's not true. Less, a lesser percentage. Come from a, a position where they've never had to actually no negotiate with other people who know how to solve problems. So what you're doing is you're putting a group of people in a room who come from privilege, who really have nothing at stake if they fail. And you're asking them to solve problems for people who have everything at stake if they fail. <laughs> Makes no sense to me, man. I need to start... Voting in single moms, single dads. He start voting in people on their second chance, people who made some mistakes and learn from them, people who can fix problems, people who can handle stress, and more importantly, people who understand the power of diversity and negotiating to get shit done.